Hi, it's Katrina. From great white shark attacks to dangerous riptides, here are eight of the most dangerous beaches in the world. Number eight. Hana Kapiai Beach, Hawaii. On the Hawaiian island of Kauai, there's a two mile long hiking trail that will lead you past a variety of scenic natural features, including waterfalls, caves, rivers, and beautiful wildlife. Known as one of the most gorgeous trails in all of Hawaii, Kalalau Trail climbs steadily uphill for the first half mile, reaching an elevation of 400 feet at the top, from which point hikers are offered a stunning view of the Nepali coast. The trail ultimately leads to Hanakapiai Beach, a place that is equally as striking to the eye as everything along the walk there. But this beach is a perfect example of just how deceiving appearances can be. As fascinating as it is to look at, you'll want to limit your experience to visual enjoyment and avoid going into the water. Why? I'll tell you. There's no road access to this beach and you have to hike there. If you're scared of bugs, already this is not the place for you. Because there are no major reefs along the Nepali coast to act as a barrier to ocean currents, swimmers at Hanakapiai Beach are at an especially high risk of being swept out to sea by life-threatening waves and riptides. In fact, there's even a sign at the beach warning visitors of the dangers of entering the water. In 2010, TripAdvisor user AquaBliss wrote an especially descriptive review, strongly cautioning people against swimming here. He and his wife heard screams for help shortly after arriving at the beach during their vacation. About 50 feet out, two children were being helplessly pulled further and further away by huge rough waves and past a jagged rocky coastline with no beach. After just a few seconds, they were no longer visible. Without a second thought, their father risked his own life to save his children, grabbing a life preserver and jumping into the treacherous water. Meanwhile, other beachgoers attempted to make emergency calls for help, only to discover that they had no phone signal. Against all odds, all three of them survived, but the outcome could have been much worse. The lesson? If you're forewarned about the dangers of swimming at a particular beach, go to a different one. Why risk it? Number seven, Gansbai, South Africa. Nicknamed the Great White Shark Capital of the World, little further explanation is needed for why South Africa's Gansbai Beach is dangerous. A few miles off the coast, between Dyer Island and Gazer Rock, there is a small channel of water called Shark Alley. It's home to a colony of around 60,000 fur seals, which is very, very attractive to swarms of great white sharks. While visitors are advised against going into the water unsupervised, especially if you're going to be swimming and splashing around, this beach does offer a different kind of unique experience. This is the perfect area for shark research and education, so if you want to come face to face with the great white that lurks in the water, why not go swimming with them? There are a number of reputable companies in the area that will take you shark diving, in a cage of course. That way you can see and experience the animals in their natural environment without becoming dinner because let's face it, you kind of do look like a seal from far away. But if you're not going to go this route, it's best to err on the safe side and stay on shore, or make sure you have a big boat. Number six, Northern Territory and Queensland, Australia. Some of the deadliest beaches in the world are located in Australia, mainly because of their extremely dangerous marine life that lives off the coast. Located in Northern Queensland, Places like Cape Tribulation and Fraser Island are home to scary species such as box jellyfish, crocodiles, and venomous snakes. Stingers, or jellyfish, are especially prevalent between November and May. Swimmers at Cape Tribulation are cautioned to wear a protective stinger suit at all times during those months. Box jellyfish are some of the most venomous creatures in the world, and their stings are agonizingly painful, so you should take this advice seriously. The beach's official website recommends asking locals where to swim to avoid crocodiles and are warned against swimming near the mouths of rivers. Australia's marine species aren't the only ones that need to be feared. There are also cassowaries at several of the country's beaches, flightless birds that, according to Cape Tribulation's website, should be treated with great respect. They can run faster than humans and have dagger-like claws that can disembowel you. As if the animal life at Cape Tribulation weren't enough to worry about, there are also stinging trees. These trees contain large, heart-shaped leaves with jagged edges. Touching one of these leaves can cause a long-lasting, very painful sting. All things considered, hanging out at Cape Tribulation and some of Australia's other beaches seems like more work than leisure. You should research your safest options before heading to any of these beautiful but potentially deadly coastlines. Number 5. New Smyrna Beach, Florida 
Volusia County, Florida is home to a record number of unprovoked shark attacks that have occurred since 1882, 290 to be exact. That's more than the whole of South Africa, including the infamous Gansby Beach at its nearby Shark Alley that I just told you about. At New Smyrna Beach, which is located within Volusia County, you're also likely to encounter huge swells. If you're a surfer, that might appeal to you, but it's not the safest environment for the average or novice swimmer. The combination of these strong waves and the heavy presence of hungry sharks could easily result in a terrifying underwater attack. In addition to the risks of shark attacks and drowning, you're more likely to be struck by lightning in Florida than anywhere else in North America, and the water is the last place you want to be if and when that ever happens to you. Experts recommend opting for one of Florida's safer beaches such as Destin or Miami. Have any of you been to New Smyrna Beach? Have you ever had an encounter with a shark? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest videos. Number 4. Chow Patty Beach, Mumbai, India Chow Patty Beach is one of the most polluted in the entire world, meaning it would be practical lunacy to go swimming here. Waste and disposal from the surrounding city of Mumbai are regularly dumped into the water, and debris and scraps from salvaged ships are scattered along the beach. In 2011, 60,000 metric tons of Indonesian coal spilled from the NV Rack, a Panamanian registered ship that sank approximately 20 nautical miles off Mumbai's coast, further polluting the waters of Chow Patty Beach as if it needed it. The United States Environmental Protection Agency warns that swimming at Chow Patty Beach may result in illnesses such as diarrhea and sore throats. For children, the elderly, and people with weakened immune systems, the outlook is much more grim as they are at a substantially higher risk of suffering from more severe illnesses. There are only two identifiable reasons for visiting Chow Patty Beach, but swimming is not one of them. In early September, the beach hosts the Hindu festival of Ganesha Chaturthi. In this case, people do get into the water, though. Also, the beach is reportedly beautiful at sunset, during which time shades of pink and red fill the sky, and as Robert Schrader of Trip Savvy puts it, temporarily obscure the garbage floating in the water. Number 3. Copacabana Beach, Brazil So far, I've told you about beaches that are dangerous because of undertows, wildlife, and pollution. This next beach contains none of the above. Copacabana Beach, located in Rio de Janeiro, has only had six shark attacks since 1931. It's also well-kept and safe to swim in, assuming you follow common-sense guidelines. But Copacabana Beach is rife with crime. Visitors, especially tourists, often fall victim to petty criminals, like thieves that take things out of your pockets. One TripAdvisor reviewer writing under the name 235 Damp reported in 2015 that their necklace was snatched right in half by a bandit on a bicycle. Shortly after, according to the reviewer, another tourist claimed a similar incident had happened to them on the same day. They further went on to say that the police are useless, so I'm guessing they didn't get very far when they tried to summon the help of the authorities. Despite such warnings, Copacabana Beach is ranked on TripAdvisor as number 8 out of 711 things to do in Brazil, and many reviews praise it as a safe destination. It's also the winner of a 2018 Traveler's Choice Award as number 13 among the top 25 beaches. Whether or not Copacabana Beach is safe is ultimately a judgment call on behalf of you, and it goes without saying that common sense should play a role. Leave your valuables in the safe at your hotel room. Number 2. Virginia Beach, USA Due to its proximity to Washington, D.C. and Baltimore, Maryland, Virginia Beach is a place people go mainly out of convenience. Indeed, it's not exactly known for being popular or beautiful. It also doesn't rank very high when it comes to safety and is one of the most dangerous beaches in the United States. In recent years, an influx of wild animals has jeopardized the safety of beachgoers and their pets on multiple occasions. Surprisingly, foxes have committed several of these attacks, and wild boars have also been spotted which can be extremely dangerous if provoked. Earlier this year, signs warning visitors about rip currents were spotted along the beach, and lifeguards were on high alert, restricting swimmers to knee-deep water due to the rough and windy conditions. While no drownings have been reported during the regular season since 2010, the beach is heavily staffed with safety personnel, and the public is constantly warned about the powerful waves and undertows. Visitors are also told to keep a close eye on their children and to keep a fully charged cell phone on hand, along with an awareness of their specific location in case they need to call 911. I have the sneaking suspicion that the beach is kept safe mainly by its ever-present lifeguards and rescue staff. Lindsay Tiger, a writer for Bravo TV, makes the smart suggestion of simply traveling two hours south to the much more visually appealing Outer Banks of North Carolina. Number 1. 
Kilauea, Hawaii. Earlier I told you about the Hanakapiai Beach, which is beautiful but known for its deadly riptides, and it's not the only one of Hawaii's coastlines where visitors should heed caution. There's a beautiful black sand beach on the big island at Kilauea, and it's right next to one of the world's most active volcanoes. Since 1983, the volcano known as Mount Kilauea has been continuously spewing lava into the ocean. Glass-like shards are the main component of the volcanic ash, and while they're smaller than grains of sand, they're dangerous to humans in two ways. According to Eric Clemetti, a volcanologist at Denison University in Ohio, inhaling these shards can cause people's lungs to get cut and can also form a cement-like mixture inside of the lungs. A mist made of hydrochloric acid, which results from the salt and other solids in the ocean being incorporated into the plume as the lava boils the ocean water, can irritate and burn the eyes, skin, and respiratory tract. Those who want to get an up-close look at the lava as it cools, hardens, and forms new land are urged to rely on a local tour operator. Otherwise, if you're going to visit Kilauea Beach, you probably shouldn't stay long. Or just take a helicopter. Thanks for watching! Hopefully nothing bad has ever happened to you at the beach. Be careful out there! Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time! Bye!